imagine porridge with medicinal value. So, well, the Kenya Medical and Research Institute is carrying out the trials right now as we speak for a herbal remedy for deworming as part of efforts to eradicate parasitic worms infections in children. Dorotino has more on this. At Nyamanga Primary School in Mbita, Homa Bay County, pupils are enthusiastic about the 10 a.m. morning break. Chatting away as they enjoy a cup of porridge, oblivious of the nutritional and medicinal value of their mid-morning treat. This porridge, brand named Uji Plus, is an innovation by the Kenya Medical and Research Institute, which according to parents of the 300 pupils currently enrolled in the program, has been transformative in their children's health. You know the mambo ya watoto ya divide me divide me so singine mama ingine amekuja hapa na mandasi moja so many will come and touch this mandasi when reaches in the evening mtoto ana diarrhea so when they take that uji i don't get any problem According to the Ministry of Health, about 6 million learners aged between 5 and 14 had been dewormed under the National School Based Dewarming Program in a span of five years. With the recommendation from the World Health Organization, the dewarming drug is not administered to children under five years, with Kemri now deriving compounds from herbs grown in Kenyan farms to fortify millet porridge and widen the pool of beneficiaries. The trial has 1,246 children across the counties of Homa Bay, Nande and Kirinyaga and has shown prospects for children as young as one year. Our forefathers of the people, our parents, had solutions for these local problems. So we've combined these herbs together with fortifications and we have also compounds of nutrition. And this together, put together, we call it UG+. We used to have uh, like 20% absenteeism in the, in the past. But now, since the program began, I can talk of uh, less than 5% absenteeism. With UG+, now awaiting the publication of the research results before production to the common market, Cambry has called for increased funding to support homegrown solutions for Kenya's medicinal and nutritional needs. For a country to really have your own innovations, you need to support the people who are doing that. Or else we'll be still be going up there. As we are seeing now with COVID. The problem is that we are not actually having that enough funding to be able to get to bring all these solutions. Florotino, Citizen TV.